Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about a very interesting photo manipulation design. Well, while we are talking, let's jump straight to Photoshop. See you. Okay, so this is the design we want to get to. First, we go to File, New, Size 1200 by 900. I prefer this size for Facebook and Instagram landscape designs. Create. <coughs> Here is our first picture, this is our background, this cloudy background, okay, make it a little bit bigger, then okay, then go here and make uh, this uh, With your soft brush, we want to remove this part because we are going to replace this with another sky. Okay, so here is the other file, the other sky. Bring it and put it here. I guess the size is okay right now. Put it under the other one. Okay, perfect. But I want to to flip it. Control T. Right click, flip horizontal. Okay, for matching the color, or before matching even the color, we want this to be a little bit darker. So we will go here to adjustment layer and make curves adjustment layer and clip it to affect only this layer. <coughs> and lower it down for about this much this much is okay and everything is editable of course I'll put this two together in one folder Control G and name it sky 1 for this one I'll do the same curves clip it and bring it down to about about here is okay and all this is editable is all this is editable of course but also I want to make it a little bit bluey so I can make many things to make it like this but I prefer this one for this one I'll make another adjustment layer but color balance adjustment layer and clip it also and bring the cyan a little bit up and also bring the blue something like this something like this I guess it will be okay okay so I bring this three together and put them in the group and call them sky 2 okay for now so here is our second sky, here is our first sky. Okay. Here is our little friend. For this dolphin, resize it a little bit. Flip horizontal. Resize it even more and put it here. Make a layer mask with a faded brush, but this brush, misty brush. Make it a little bigger. With the black color selected, try to remove some here. To make it look like it is its body is underneath the cloud. Okay. Go here and make curves adjustment layer. Bring the lightness a little bit down and also the contrast a little bit. I guess for this one we have to bring back some of the details 
So I'll toggle with the X and bring back some of the details here. Put them both in group and call this dolphin. And bring it above this guy here. Yes, that's why I was not seeing it a little. So back to the mask and try to remove with the black color selected. Okay, now it's much much better. Bring back some of the details like so okay now it's much better and we also want to make it a little bit bluey so i can put here another layer and clip it blue and with the color picker i'll take this blue here or even this and with the brush selected the soft round brush I will make this all blue and change the blending mode to color. Now it has the look of blue, but we will bring down the opacity about here. See before and after. It makes a difference. Yes. Okay. So here is the dolphin. Let's bring our model. Where is she? Here it is. Open it in a new tab. With a quick selection tool, of course. I guess the selection is okay. We can modify anything we want later. But I think for now it is okay. Okay, make mask and take care to our design. Okay, control, control T, control zero, alt shift. To resize here. Okay. Control zero to fit the screen. Control T. Flip horizontal. And try to position it where you think it will fit the best. I think it wants to be a little bit smaller. Like this, I think it's better. Okay, so we don't talk much on the fine tuning. Go to the mask with any selection tool and click select and mask. Here's the second choice here with this brush selected. Try to go to the edges. guess it's okay now okay now it's much better remove this we don't want this anymore here on the mask with the brush selected you try to to remove those little sorry with black okay and because she is she will be very small in the scene this will not be visible okay for the lightness we can make a new adjustment layer curves clip it to her to affect only her and bring the lightness down and also from here for a higher contrast but we will bring the brush faded brush and give her remove some of the effect we just did to give her some light from this side 
because our sun will be here our sun rays will be here so it will reflect on her and on this side so we want this to be brighter than this side okay much better for the color we can do the same as we did before new layer clip it below and with the same color selected with the same brush we will give her this color changing the, the blending mode to color and lower the opacity what about this much I guess now it's much better and you can bring this layer under this one okay now underneath here underneath this we want to make some shadows for her with the black color selected We can make this contact shadow of her. Change the blending mode to multiply and lower the opacity a little bit. Okay, so this is the first shadow. Another layer. Make the brush a little bit bigger. With this color selected, if you click on the Alt, you can pick this color from here and start painting in this direction because as we say the, the light source will be here so we want the shadow to cast in this area so here you can make it bigger a bit bigger okay change the blending mode to multiply and lower the obesity so it will be something like this we can even erase some of it with the eraser tool no not this one with the faded one yes yeah, like this so here's the second shadow and here is the first sorry this one the first shadow okay so so far it is okay we can bring all this together Control G and name it girl now for the light source we can make a new layer and make an orange color like this one make the brush bigger and make one dab here I'm sorry oh sorry with the brush not the eraser <laughs> make one dab here and change the blending mode to screen oh Okay, so and maybe we can put it also on the groove and call it sun. Okay, so if the sun is casting this rays here on the model and on the dolphin, so this must be orangish too. So we get back to the girl and put another layer here, clip it to the girl, and with the brush select with the brush selected with the same color lower this and start painting on her edges like this and change the blending mode to something like overlay I guess yes overlay is better overlay is okay in this case and you can lower the opacity a little bit see the before and after makes a whole lot difference much much better and we will do the same with the dolphin for the dolphin layer we came here at this uh, curves layer and also with the, with the black brush selected remove some of the effect here 
and put another layer on top of everything clip it to the dolphin and also paint with the brush in this age change the blending mode try overlay first yes overlay works good in this case lower the opacity a little bit so now we have the dolphin affected and the girl also affected with the sun rays okay what else can we do we can also put some birds here on top of everything underneath the sun and on top we can make it more smaller we can also make another step sorry put them on the group and call it birds we can make another layer on top of the birds and clip it to the birds layer and do the same take the brush put some casting colors on top of them yes in this area try to change the blending mode no it will not be visible so can we can leave it on normal and lower the obesity a little bit yes that's much better okay what else can we do we can close this we don't need this anymore we can bring this dolphin here open it in another tab and with the quick selection tool then make a mask ok take it to our design we will put it somewhere down here ctrl T ctrl 0 resize it I guess it's somewhere like here it will be ok make it a little bit smaller okay select the brush with the cloudy brush try to remove some of it here so it looks like it's coming from the sky above of it make another layer clip it and with this color selected we paint over it change the blending mode to color and bring the opacity a little bit and bring the opacity of the dolphin itself a little bit down so it will look like the clouds are affecting it put them both in one layer and one group sorry and call it dolphin 2 so we have our dolphin 2 I guess it needs to be more visible we can bring it up a little bit like this is okay okay so the other dolphin quick selection tool alt to remove selection from unwanted areas I guess something like this is okay click on the mask control zero move tool bring it to our project here 
Okay, Control T, Control Zero, Alt and Shift together. Resize it, make it a little smaller. Yes, like this. Control Zero. Okay, this a little bit smaller will be better. For this one, the color casting on him will be because he is nearer to the sun, so it will be this orange color. So I will put, put a layer above it and clip it to the dolphin and with the brush selected, change it to blending mode to color. And also try to remove some areas of the dolphin to look like it's diving inside the sky, the clouds. And bring down the obesity a little bit, like so. Okay. Put them together in a group. Call this dolphin three. So, what else can we do? I can bring the balloon from here. Put it somewhere like so. We can bring down the birds a little bit and bring up the balloon somewhere like here. Okay, so what else can we do? Now we finished almost all the main items in the design, but what else can we do? For the finishing, we can start by clicking here and giving it a, a more uh, bluey look by choosing color balance, trying some cyan and some blues trying some yellows maybe some yellows but I prefer blues okay what else can we do curve the adjustment layer in the RGB channel go to the blues and bring up the blues from here a little bit see see the difference it makes before after before after much better go here and from the color lookup table we can choose crisp warm and lower the opacity of the effect and we can also choose from the lookup color table This one here is nice. Bring back down the velocity a little bit. Control Shift Alt E. Convert to smart object. Filter. Camera Raw filter. Click on Auto and start tweaking. Exposure like this, we can lower the, uh, it. Start playing with these sliders until you find what you're looking for. I need some more shadows. Texture, clarity, more vibrance. Here, I need more yellows or oranges in the highlights to give it this warm look and I need more blues C 
see the difference and from here I need to add a little vignette for the contrast overall okay so here is the before here is the after and if we do so and call this finishing here is it before the finishing and after the finishing we can add a little curves adjustment layer on top of everything and bring it up a little bit to make it more visible to the eye and that's it see you next time thanks for watching well that's it for today don't forget like comment share and subscribe see you next time bye bye